Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to talk about Tattoo, which definitely caught my eye as I am a body modification enthusiast and supporter, as you can tell. I, uh, going into this movie, I kind of knew I would take everything with a grain of salt, as it's, I, I don't know, anytime I go into a movie that has something as deep-seated that I love as body modification, you know that it's definitely not made by people that have body modification, understand the culture, understand why people would do it, mentality, like how empowering it is, and it's just going to be some like weird take on it. You know, like I love Strangeland, but that's definitely like, that's a different story. But I kind of went into it with already sort of like a shitty mindset, I suppose, which is my bad, but like, I feel really passionate about my art. I feel really passionate about my mods. So I was kind of like, mm, let's see what this is about. So the movie centralizes around Carl, who is a tattoo artist. He owns his own studio. And it seems like he's very heavily influenced by uh, the Japanese style, very old school, very pretty, very, you know, primary colors and beautiful line work. His uh, work is chosen by this modeling campaign, which they want to uh, showcase a designer's bathing suit line by having a lot of tattoos painted all over the models. And Carl is instantly smitten by, I think her name's Maddie, a model, whom he gets to paint on and just keeps saying like really weird things to her like, oh, I can tell your skin is tense, you're tense, blah, blah, blah. Like just, he seemed very controlling from the get-go of just her body, which did not rub me a good way. I was not happy about that. Uh, Maddie does have a boyfriend who is a jazz musician whom Carl just obviously hates because he's in love with Maddie. While all of this is going on, we learn that Carl has this really weird thing about public telephones because this is a period in time when public telephones were a thing. There were no cell phones. You had to use a public telephone, which honestly I always thought was kind of disgusting because people are just holding it, coughing into that, you know. And his job was to clean it, so he doesn't himself have his own phone, which doesn't make sense, actually. He goes and uses a phone at a, I think it's a diner, I don't think it's a bar. But forever cleaning the phone, you know. He learns that, I, I believe it's his mother or aunt, I wasn't paying that close attention to what relation it was. But they had passed away, and it was put on him to, you know, sell the home in New Jersey. So... As you may have already assumed, Carl, you know, does take Maddie out a few times, invites Maddie to his house, freaks her out really badly because I believe she was cussing and he just couldn't handle it and just completely over blew the situation, really freaked her out. She left. He ends up going to her home and drugging her and taking her to the house in New Jersey. I'm gonna leave it off there as this is spoiler free, but it's called Tattoo. He's a tattoo artist. He's obsessed with her skin. I wonder where this could go. You know, like it's obvious, but I'll just go into my likes and dislikes. My likes. A lot of the work that was shown, especially the painting, was beautiful. I really do enjoy this style of art and tattooing. It's very pretty. I have a lot of friends that have this art on them, and I love to admire it. What did I dislike about this movie? Oh, why did... I don't understand. Why tattoos? Why? Why? At this period in time, tattoos are not at all accepted how they are now. It was more like bikers and, you know, prostitutes and bad people had tattoos. And I feel like that was just, this movie kind of perpetuates that stereotype that like psychopath is a tattoo artist. 
that's just me. I'm a little sensitive to this topic because I love this art. I felt like the acting was super weird. It wasn't really believable. Especially, so there's parts where people are getting tattooed on very sensitive parts of their body. Like the chest, the sternum, and they're not reacting appropriately. So I don't think that anyone did their research for this movie. Like, hey, if someone, even after getting tattooed on this area, is going to react very poorly and be moving certain ways because it's going to hurt, you know, to take a deep breath or twist or, you know, where I'm going with this. Just not believable, especially to someone that does have a lot of tattoos. I knew, you know, when I had my elbow done, did not want to move my arm at all because it hurt even hours after. Just putting it out there. Not believable acting. Um, I didn't like that there was barely any gore for something that was marketed to me at least from Amazon as a horror movie because that's what mama likes and that's what I wanted to see and I didn't get any of that really until like very close to the end. Um, the soundtrack was weird. I don't know how I felt about the song choices but that's a personal preference I suppose. What will I rate this movie? I will give this like a one out of five. Mostly just personal preference. Did not like this movie. Do not recommend. Probably will never speak its name or watch it ever again, which is fine. You know, it just wasn't for me. Maybe it's for you. You should check it out if you feel so inclined. As I said, I did find it streaming on Amazon Video. Probably streaming other platforms. I think it's too obscure to be physical copy unless you're a really good VHS hunter in that case. Good luck. Um, have you seen this movie? What were your thoughts? There were a lot of boobs in it, which is definitely a redeeming quality. I forgot about that. Bonus like boobs. There you go. Um, leave me a comment down below. If you have seen this movie, what are your thoughts? What's your favorite style of tattoo art? Let me know. Uh, like the video if you did like the video. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo and also reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes thanks to the Farsighted Network. And please don't forget to check out all of their creators. And I will see y'all later. Bye.